Hi, in this sequence of videos we're going to be looking at the AQA Further Pure 1 January 2013 exam paper. The videos are going to be split into three parts. The first part of each video um, you need to have a go at the question yourself, so you want to try the question. I will then um, give you some tips and hints as to how you can go about answering the question. So if, you're, if you don't manage to try it the first time, you can use the hints to see if you can then have a go at the question and then pause the video and have another go. Um, and if you have done that and you want to check your answers or, or you're unsure, then um, I will go through the full answer for each question um, as well. The um, key things to, to note when you're watching these videos is to make sure that you try each of the questions yourself first. Only use the hint if you feel like you need a hint. Um, try your best to do it off your own back straight away um, yourself. Um, work through the answers as you watch the, the questions. So try not to be passive while you're watching um, the videos. Um, make sure you're writing things down and you're working through at the same time as me. Um, and whenever you feel that you can, pause and finish off a question yourself. Don't feel like you have to watch a video with me. If you think you know what you're doing, pause the video, finish it off, and then you can always check your answer later. Okay, um, so question number one of this paper. Um, I'd first of all let you have a go at doing the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and try this question. I'm now going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So um, I'm going to start off by giving you the formula that comes in your formula book. Um, so we're going to put that over here. And um, we're going to write down, first of all, the information that we know. So I know that um, my initial x value, or x naught, is equal to 1. And I also know my initial y value, um, y naught, is going to be equal to 3. I also know my next x value, x1, is going to be equal to, well I've got a step length of 0 0.1, um, so if I write over here that um, h is equal to 0 0.1, well that means that that's going to be 1.1. So my y um, value for this, so y1, is going to be equal to um, and you can use this formula here because it's telling me that I take my to get y1 I will need to do y0 which is well, I'll write it down y0 plus h times f x0 okay and then x2 is equal to 1.2 y2 is going to be equal to y1 plus h f x1 and again I've got that from there so what we need to do is we need to work out what this value here is and what this value here is using this function here um, and then we want to use that information to decide what our y2 value is which will be um, the y value when x is 1.2. If you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can finish this question off yourself. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at that. Um, I'm now going to finish this off, so um, I'm just going to move this a little bit this way. To, I've got a little bit more room. Okay, um, I'm going to start by um, finding out this bit of information here and this bit of information here that I need to know to, to answer this question, so I've got f of x naught. Well, that's going to be um, the what happens when I get when I put one into this function here or into this function here. So that's going to be one over one plus one cubed. So that's going to be a half, which is zero point five. I'm also going to work it out for x1 and that's 1.1 so I've got 1.1 over 1 plus 1.1 cubed um, and I'll write that down actually so I've got 1.1 over 1 plus 1.1 cubed and that gives me a value of uh, 0 
zero zero five. Okay, and I'm just writing down more decimal places than I need because I want my answer to four decimal places. Okay, so um, I'm now going to use this information here and I can plug in my values into um, the formula over here. So for y1, I need y0, which is 3, plus h, which is 0 0.1, times by this function here, which is 0 0.5. And that gives me 3.05. Now for this here, uh, for y1, sorry, for y2, I would do y1, which we've worked out to be 3.05, plus 0 0.1 times by this function here um, with x1 put in. So it's going to be that one there, so that's 0 0.4719. 005. And if I plug that into my calculator, I get 3.097 to, to four decimal places. Um, and there you go, that, that's actually our answer. So um, we've used Euler's step by step method with a step length of 0 0.1 to estimate the value of y, which is here, when x is 1.2. Okay, um, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.